Hi, my name is Niranjan and welcome to another episode of Jumpbox IQ where we teach you simple science experiments that you can try at home. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about something that little kids are really afraid of. So I think more grown-up ones really love and adults, we really need to get in touch with this once again. We're going to be playing with bubbles and what do you need to play with bubbles? Well, you need water, you need soap and you need a straw or, a, or the barrel of a pen depending on whether you want to be eco-friendly or not. Now what you need to do is you need to take some of your soap, you need to pour it into the water and you need to swirl it around, let, it, let the stuff mix. And once, and if you've used the right amount of soap, you, pick it, you dip your straw into it and when you blow gently you get bubbles. Now, sure everybody knows how to make bubbles, it's, it's as simple as adding soap to water. Well there's a lot of science in it as well. For starters, why is it that you need to add soap to make water form better bubbles? Well, the reason for this is because of something called the surface tension of water. Now we've spoken about this a couple of times before. Water molecules would like to stick together and don't like to come, come apart. This is why when you slap your hand against the surface of a, of, a, of a bucket of water, it feels like there's a solid object trying to fight back against you. Now, when you add soap to the water, what the soap does is it, it, it allows the water molecules to move apart. So it allows it to stretch the surface tension. So when you blow air into the bubble, the air that goes inside stretches the surface tension of the water and there you go. Next question is why are bubbles round? Well, air is a gas and gases like to exert the same amount of pressure in all directions. So the simplest shape that you can form that way is a sphere. Now the next question, the most important question is why do bubbles pop so easily? Well, the reason for this is once again in water. Now, bubbles have a really, really tiny amount of water in them. And when that water disappears, you don't have a bubble anymore. So the reason for the water disappearing could be a whole bunch of things. One, it could be a really hot day, so which is why you would notice on hot days, your bubbles don't last too long. Whereas if you try blowing bubbles immediately after the rains, they just keep floating around for a long time. It's because the air around the bubbles in immediately after the rains is filled with water molecules. It's very humid at that time. So the bubbles keep going, going for almost, almost forever. So when you touch the bubble with your fingers, your fingers or your hands or your skin has a little bit of oil. And the interesting thing about soap and why it's used to, to clean dishes and floors and stuff is because it, it can attach itself to these oil and these grimy things. So when you no longer have soap to stretch, your, to stretch the surface tension of the water, your bubble disappears. And another reason why bubbles pop is purely because of, of, of heavy winds, of strong winds. If the surface or if the membrane of the bubble gets punctured somehow, for example, you poke it with a stick or even if really strong winds come and bump into it, your bubble disappears, poof. This brings us to how you make your bubbles even stronger. Well, bubbles can be made much stronger if you use glycerin and let it sit for 24 hours. You just toss the glycerin into your bubble solution and let, it, and let it sit. Now, what the glycerin does, it acts as an additional coating and prevents your water from evaporating, prevents your soap from, from stepping aside. And if you do this, you can actually catch it on cloth. That's a really, really cool thing. Now, why don't you try this at home? Now, try to mix your water, soap and glycerin in a six is to two is to one ratio. Try this out at home and tell me how your bubbles came out. Leave your answers in the comments below. My name is Niranjan. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Chumpak Psyche, which was brought to you by Chumpak and One Network. Thank you so much and please subscribe.